Hey ladies, and welcome to the official Kingdom Woman Kickoff! Y'all, we are so excited to invite you into our yes. new content room here at Save in the City to talk about everything Kingdom Woman. But you all know I had to bring my sisters with me. So hey ladies! Hey. Uh-huh. Y'all get into these looks, y'all. Fine. How y'all? How y'all? Who? Happy New Year to you all. Y'all look good. Good with the teeth. Thank y'all for being here with me today, y'all. These are my Saved in the City sisters. And so we are just so excited that you all have decided to join us for the 21-day Kingdom Woman Fast. Okay, make some noise in the comments. Shoot an emoji. Do a high five. Do something. Yeah. Drop some fire emojis if you are excited to kick off our new 21-day fast. So let me let them introduce themselves, and then we're going to get into some good conversation. All right, so let's start over here. Hey, y'all. I'm RCA, and I'm so happy to be here. Yes, girl. Hey, y'all. I'm Ty, and I'm excited. And I'm Adelia. Happy New Year! And I'm Patrice. Excited for the fest. Absolutely. Yay. And if I am Brittany. And so, y'all, again, thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for joining us. Joining us, we're about to have a good girl time, okay? Yes. Like, we got conversations. Right. We're going to talk about fasting. We're going to talk about what it means to be a kingdom woman. We want you to know you are in the right place. Ain't that right, ladies? Yes. Yes. Right. Sis is right. in the right place, okay? <laughs> so, let's get into it we've been done our introductions if you haven't already done your introductions in the chat go ahead and yes. introduce yourself yes. you will be surprised who is connected who is joining us for this fast who is a part of this community mm -hmm. so go ahead and drop your name your city what you're looking forward to in the chat as we are getting started all right yes. so you all it's the new year Yes. And you all know 2024 is here. here. And uh, we get to start the year with our 21 day fast. We've been doing this, I don't know, maybe nine, 10 years. Mm -hmm to this point, and it's something that has become a staple in what Absolutely. we do here at Saving Absolutely. the City. Yeah. And so I was looking on our social media the other day, and it just blessed me, you all, because one of the sisters was saying that she's been fasting with us since she was in college. Wow. She said she got her mom, her sisters now join oh, us. Wow. And so for all of the ladies that's been rocking with us over the last 12 years, 10 years, 8 years, shout out to you all. Yeah. 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 And for those of you who this is your first time joining us, we're looking forward to having you as yeah, well. So welcome. shout out to you too, sis. Yes. But I love that that uh, so many women trust us mm -hmm. to be able to walk mm -hmm. alongside mm -hmm. their spiritual journeys, mm -hmm. to help speak into their life and help them start the new year. Absolutely. I'm getting emotional. So I'm no, better about it, so. no, yeah. no better way. No, no, no better way. No better way. So let's jump into um, just more about fasting, more about all the things when it comes to being Let's do kingdom it. Woman. Kingdom a woman. kingdom woman. So I have to ask. I have to ask. Uh huh. Kingdom woman fast. Yes. Why kingdom woman? And what Why is kingdom a kingdom woman? woman? Oh, that's a good question. Y'all hear that, ladies? Why Kingdom Woman and what is a what Kingdom is Woman? A kingdom you know, woman. last year, for those of you who fasted with us, um, our theme was intentional. Mm -hmm. That was yeah, our man. theme. Wasn't it good? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so good. Yeah. I mean. Yes. So and so, yeah. yeah. And so last year, our theme was intentional, and we did the intentional fast. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I actually thought we were going to do another intentional fast mm -hmm. until I really felt like I heard from the Holy Spirit that said, no, this year, the theme is Kingdom Woman. And I yeah, literally nice. had this vision. And so for me, I feel like this is the year and we're in this new era of kingdom women taking their rightful place. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I truly believe there's this clarion call in the earth for mm -hmm. women to arise. Mm -hmm. I think if y'all are anything like me, I've struggled with low self-esteem. Mm -hmm. I've doubted myself for so long. Mm -hmm. You know, you know you have this gift. You know you have something to offer. And it's like, uh, I don't know, God, you talking to me? Mm -hmm. I believe this is the year that we no longer question ourselves. <laughs> yeah. We no longer think it's somebody else when we know God has called us. Mm -hmm. And so I believe like that's why God um, gave us that theme for this year because I believe that everything that we're gonna walk into this year is because we're making a decision yes. to finally start yeah. to show mm -hmm. up as the women of God that yeah. he's created for us yeah. to be so mm -hmm. 
that is where the vision of Kingdom Woman came from. And I think that's what a Kingdom Woman is. She's yeah. bold. Mm -hmm. But I think boldness is not just about being fearless. Mm -hmm. Boldness is looking at the face of fear and mm -hmm. like, okay, I see you, but I'm still moving I'm forward. Yeah. You know, I, I, I don't know how this is going to turn out, yeah. but I'm still going to post. I'm still going to show yeah. up, you know. Yeah. And so I think she understands that there is a purpose in her on her life. Mm -hmm. I think she understands that God didn't make a mistake about me, that, that there's a kingdom assignment, that wherever he's called me, he's called me there for a purpose. Mm -hmm. And that space needs all of who all I of, am. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. for for me and for what we're doing, I believe that is what a kingdom woman is. Absolutely. Yeah. So I love that. Definitely yeah. agree. Yeah. For sure. hundred yeah. percent. Because for me, as somebody who has made up in their mind, like what you were saying, to walk fully in their purpose, yeah. to accept and take ownership of everything that God has called you to be and say, okay, this is who I am. Mm -hmm. This is what is needed in my time. Yeah. So I'm just going to walk into it. So for yeah. me, a kingdom woman is somebody who says, okay, God, I'm gonna do it scared. Come on. I'm gonna choose yes. faith over Come on. Scared. Come on. I'm Let's gonna do, do it scared. Yeah. I'm just gonna walk yes. into what you have given me, what you have called me to, and I'm just gonna do it. So I'm, yeah. gonna, I'm gonna be a kingdom woman today. Yeah, and, and not just do it, it, but I'm gonna be it. Yeah. 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 You know, I'm yes. going to be it. I'm put and it I think on fully. that's it. I'm putting yeah. it on fully because as we be it, then the doing just flows. Yes. Like stepping, ladies, this fast is about you stepping into yeah, 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 who yeah. you've always been created to be. You stepping into the fullness of that. So I love that yes. and we doing it scared and I think the more we do it the less scared we uh -huh. gonna be yes. okay yes. I feel you for you cause a kingdom woman is she's an atmosphere shifter yes. Ooh, wait a she, minute wait a minute pause pause for the cause pause for the cause damn you got to slow down <laughs> she's a what now she is an atmosphere shifter Ooh. she yes. walks in the room and changes the atmosphere and doesn't even have to open her mouth Absolutely. just her mere her presence, presence. Mm -hmm. Shifts the atmosphere yes. in the room. The Come atmosphere on. doesn't shift her; she shifts it. That's Come on, on. That That's and early. she's Woo. also she carries grace, a grace that no matter what she goes through, no matter what adversity mm -hmm. comes her way, she remains consistent yes. and she carries it with grace. You know, she doesn't walk around like, woe is me, I'm going through this, mm -hmm. I'm going through that. Yeah. She's a warrior. She Come stands on. strong mm -hmm. even when she feels weak yeah. because she's an overcomer. Absolutely. A kingdom woman is an overcomer. She's going to overcome any obstacle, mm -hmm. any trap the enemy may throw her away. Come on. A kingdom woman will withstand that and she will defeat the enemy. Come so, on. Are there any overcomers yes, in the chat? Yes, any yes, overcomers yes, that's yes, watching yes, us right now? Yes. Baby, we are some overcomers. Yes. A kingdom woman is an overcomer. Comer. So a so kingdom good. woman is an atmosphere shift. Mm -hmm. The sister, you know that you shift atmospheres. In every room yeah. that you're called to walk into, you shift atmospheres in your family, yeah. mm -hmm. on your job, yeah. at the grocery mm -hmm. store. You're able to shift atmospheres when we step into the kingdom woman mandate that is yeah. on our life. Yes. Absolutely. How about Absolutely. you? So I think a kingdom woman is all of those things. I believe that a kingdom woman, and let me say this, I don't want the women who are joining this fast to think that, you know, for me, yeah. I struggled with the title. For right. Sure. Even mm -hmm. when people would call me a woman of God, oh, I was yeah. like, she was like, because ah, ah, <laughs> I'm still working through some stuff, girl. So I don't want me, God. Wait a minute. Still, <laughs> still, still. <laughs> still. Sometimes I'm come on. That's real, though. Talk yeah. about that time. Yeah, absolutely. So, I, and I can speak to this from experience. Yeah. Like, this is, and I don't think that a kingdom woman is something that we arrive to, but come it's something on. that we're continuously yes. yes. growing yes. to be. It is a it's a journey. It's t uh, it's acknowledging that, hey, I'm on this journey with God. Yes. I am taking this journey with God. I am putting all of my faith, all of my trust in God, but it is not. I don't want people to look at the title of this and feel intimidated yeah, at all because yeah. a kingdom woman sounds like, and, and, and it is. Yeah. It is a bold, it is a statement, and it's not a preacher. It's not a pastor. You don't yeah. have to have be Come those on. things title. and have these titles yeah. Yeah. to walk in the fullness of what God has called us to. It yes. is acknowledging that there is a purpose on my life. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I am going to walk in it and, yes. and see 
see God's grace on mm-hmm. it for me mm-hmm. and trust him fully. So yes. it is a woman who has is full of faith yes. and full of trust in God yes. without a title, but hey, saying, hey, God, however you want to use me, I'm, I'm a willing vessel. Use me, God, yes. and I'm 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 going to be intentional about spending time with you and developing who you've called me to be. That's it. Y'all, what? Somebody's adjusting their wig. Somebody right there, like, ooh, time. My wig just slipped. My wig just slipped. Time. Come on, because how many of you that's you felt intimidated? Like you felt like you know. For me, I felt the same way. Like. Like, okay, now, nah, baby, I'm still working through some stuff. Like, don't, you know, people right, call, oh, right. don't call me that. Don't put nothing before or after my name, baby, you know? So I love that you said that because I think the enemy does. He works overtime to try to make us feel like yeah. we're not qualified Absolutely. or we're yeah. not enough or no, I can't measure up mm-hmm. to that. And so I love that you highlighted, yes. highlighted that. Yep. Love that. I love that. And I love how you said just being intentional mm-hmm. about God. Not Obviously, perfect. Not perfect, Absolutely but you're not. intentional. Mm-hmm. And and in the Bible, if you look at a Proverbs 31 woman, she's a kingdom woman. Yeah. But one of the things about that scripture is the fear of the Lord. Mm-hmm. So it's not like, oh, I'm scared of God. I don't want to mm-hmm. I don't want to have nothing to do with that. It's more, yeah. I have a reverence for God. Yeah. Yeah. I have a personal relationship with yeah. God. Yeah. You know, like I'm making sure I set my affections on mm-hmm. him to mm-hmm. give him That's everything. Good. The little bit that I have, the yeah. little bit, if I have a little bit of brokenness, if I give it to him, yes. I'm a kingdom, I'm a kingdom mm-hmm. woman. Yeah. So I take that with me wherever I go, right. wherever I step, you know that it's not just me. I'm yeah. not just showing up as RCA. Yeah. I'm showing up as RCA and God. Yeah. You know, like you see him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I'm a representative of the king. Right? Yeah. So that's what sets me apart. Kingdom that's women it. are set apart. Yeah. Like we're not perfect. Right. But you know when we step wherever we step, like it's you said, something Adelia, different it's about her. Different. It's that salt. Like, oh, yeah. No, salt. Yeah. Like, oh, wait a minute. Hold on, y'all. That's the dance. It's that salt. 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 I love that. And you know what I heard from what you're saying is something that we talked about before we started recording was intimacy. Yes. Mm-hmm. Intimacy. Mm-hmm. And so I want to talk about that, right? So we've yes. established, are you a kingdom woman, sis? Because yes. it sounds yes. like Just you qualify yes. for being a kingdom woman. Yes. And we are yes. so yes. proud of you. And so you are in the right place. But let's get into this fasting. Let's yes. get into yes. this fasting. Yes. So we've established what a kingdom woman is. And every single woman that's tuning in and joining us mm-hmm. is a kingdom woman. So Absolutely. you're in the right place. But we're doing a fast. And and that word can be a little intimidating. You know, because it's like, now do what now? You know, (laughs) when I was younger, they would talk about fasting. And I would say, well, y'all let me know how that go. You know, I'll I'll be, you know, may say a little prayer for you. You know, (laughs) meet me for lunch when y'all get done. You know, because I just couldn't see myself doing a lot of the spiritual disciplines that I had heard about. I just, one, didn't think I was worthy. Mm -hmm. Didn't think I was qualified. And so I want to talk to the sister who this fasting concept may be something new for her mm-hmm. right and because i don't want her to feel intimidated so mm-hmm. patrice if this is my very first time yes. if my friend done drug me into this and i'm like girl i need something right. different in my life mm-hmm. and let me try this can you talk to the sister who maybe this is her first experience and she's trying to understand what exactly is fasting right uh, and I think that's where a lot of people are when they first start fasting. Like, well, what does it mean? Yeah. And for me, it simply means denying your flesh. Mm-hmm. Pushing away what you want to do and saying, instead of doing this thing, I'm going to spend some more time with God. Mm-hmm. Whether that be what you're going to eat, how you eating, whether that's social media, because yeah. we all scroll. We scroll. Mm-hmm. I get yeah, a lot of time much. arthritis in the uh-huh, practice. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But whatever that is, you're just simply saying, I'm going to take time away from that thing mm-hmm. and spend time with him. Come on. I'm going to decide to say, okay, Patrice, you can't have that. You're going to give it to him. You're yeah. going to go spend some time with him. You're going to become you're going to become in relationship with God during this time. Mm-hmm. So it's basically saying, I'm going to do less of me yeah. and more of him. Yeah. Hold on. Less of me and, and more of him. Yes. Because I jack stuff up. Come on. Every time. Every, I, I just be, I I be thinking I'm right. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah, this is... And just Lord, be, that's what you meant, right? <laughs> <laughs> I took it and did it my way. Lord, okay. <laughs> Put a little spin on it. <laughs> we mixed it 
a little bit. So you're right. saying the fast is denying yourself so yes. you can make more room for God in yes. your life. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Exactly. What about you? It's Delia? about being intimate with him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's about a time of intimacy. You know, we get into our everyday busy schedules. Mm-hmm. We're not spending time with him like mm-hmm. we should or mm-hmm. like we want to. So this is like a set apart time to be um, extra intimate with him. It's yeah. like going on a vacation with God, a yes. honeymoon with God to yes. get deeper into him and to get mm-hmm. closer mm-hmm. to him. So you can really hear him whisper in your ear. Yes. Yes. You hear what he's saying to you. I yeah. love that mm-hmm. because it, there does have to be, to, to hear a whisper, mm-hmm. there has to be stillness. Mm-hmm. There has mm-hmm. to be quietness. Mm-hmm. And how many of our lives, it's loud. Very, it's busy. Yeah, it's noisy. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's This person needs something. My job needs this. My mm-hmm. family needs this. Mm-hmm. All of this. And I love that we do this at the top of the year because mm-hmm. it, it does bring that stillness mm-hmm. so that we can hear that instruction. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is what I want you to do this mm-hmm. year. Yeah. This is who I want you to be. Mm-hmm. This is how much I love you right. as your father. Mm-hmm. That is what fasting is about. Mm-hmm. So look at it as she said, which yes. I love, <laughs> as a honeymoon, a honeymoon. with you yeah. and and your heavenly father. Let's sit in that for a second. That he wants to spend time with us. Mm -hmm. That he wants us to know how much he cares Mm -hmm. about us. And he wants us to see ourselves through how he sees us. Not through what we've done. Not through what we've gone through. Not what people have said about us. He wants to wash all of that away and say, this is who I see you and call you as as my daughter. Mm -hmm. And for me, just to kind of add on to what Adelia said, when we think about cultivating new relationships or wanting to know someone deeper, Mm -hmm. or wanting to understand them, it requires the intentionality of spending time. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't start dating someone, having a friend, and not be spend that time yeah. and and have those conversations mm-hmm. and get to that point if we don't if we're not consistent absolutely and so i think that this is a a, a, a pause and the start of a year will say hey god i'm going to be consistent mm-hmm. in in learning you mm-hmm. in yeah. understanding yeah. you yeah. in in cultivating this so relationship good. what i love about the this saved in the city fast specifically I fasted with other groups before, and it was like, hey, this is what you just give up, Mm -hmm. period. Mm -hmm. It wasn't what I love, 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 um, and the reason I fasted for many years with the ministry is because we have something in writing, a Mm -hmm. devotional. That means the world to me, because so I can look at, I can look at the different types of fasts. I can Mm -hmm. have something that every day I'm being intentional about, this is what today is Mm-hmm. So for the next 21 days, I have something I can read. Yeah. I have scripture. I have knowledge about what it is that I need. And so it is, is if you are consistent in this fast, you can't, you yeah. can't lose. Like yeah. you right. have, we have a daily, something daily to yeah. walk mm-hmm. through this journey of 21 days and be intentional and have something. And when I say we learn something every day, yes. Yes. like there's some mm-hmm. new revelation every single day. So mm-hmm. don't think that you have to do it alone or you Absolutely. have to figure right. out what it is. No, we have a guided devotional mm-hmm. that helps through this process. So even if you don't know what to pray, we're going to give you something to pray. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. We're or have, you can jump on a prayer call. You don't have, have a prayer call every, every, every morning. Every morning. morning. And we come yes. back at night. night. So we're going to make this. We got you. 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 We we have someone who will teach us. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of times we think we have to automatically go into fast and be disciplined. Yeah. Like, as you grow in God, you'll grow to different mm-hmm. levels. Yes. You'll learn yes. the things with him. But you can't learn something if you don't take the time mm-hmm. out, you know, to sit with him and yeah. be with him. And that's one of the things that I love about fasting. When I was younger and I was like a baby in Christ, I was like, oh, social media. I'm turning out social media. Mm-hmm. And that that was good yeah. for where I was. But where I am now in Christ is like, okay, social media, that's not enough. Mm-hmm. Like, I need you to really, like, turn your plate down. Yeah. I need yep. you to focus on me. Yeah. I need you and a lot of times we think we got to give this up we got to give that up but it's like it's not about giving up god wants to give us something you know and not even physical but like your spirit being there he wants to sit with you he wants to learn you he wants to teach you you know he wants to grow you and a lot of times we don't know ourselves because we don't know god Mm -hmm. and what i love wait 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 she's gonna roll past like Yes. Y'all catch that? <laughs> Run that back, girl. Like, Literally. Need a notebook. Literally. I know. Write that down. Say that again. Run that one back, woman God. Run that one back. Literally, we don't know ourselves because 
we don't know God. Ooh. Like, wow. that's so rich. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. And I had to learn that because I'm thinking, okay, this is who RCA is, but it's really like, no, this is who my mama told me I was. Come on. This is who my mm-hmm. friends expect right. me on. to be. Mm-hmm. This is who the church want me to be Come sometimes. On. Come on. Come on. And it's like, no. Once I sat with God and I fasted, like, really sat with him mm-hmm. and learned him, he like, no, daughter, this is who you are. Yes. Like, you're beautiful. Yes. Like, you're bold. Like, in, in this area, this is how I need you to show up. Yeah. You know, I didn't know those things because I didn't know how to hear God and discern the voice of God mm-hmm. and, you know, what he was to me. Yeah. Because I thought, like, oh, I need to be this way. I need to look this way. And I'm like, Mm-hmm. And that reminds me of I can't remember if it was a summer refresh refresh class that we did or if it was intentional the intentional class, but I remember God literally speaking to me when we were fasting and I was in my time of devotion where He said, "These are all the things you are. You are bold. You are loud. Mm-hmm. You yep. do laugh a yep. lot. Yep. Yep. You are st- like He that. listed yep. all of the things that He told me that I was and said that." I created you this way. Mm-hmm. And I would have kept trying to change. Okay, Patrice, be a little bit more quiet. Mm-hmm. Be a little bit more mm-hmm. mild-mannered. You're a doctor now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Pull it together. He was like, no. no. Yeah. I made you this way so Absolutely. that you can be what I need you to be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Thank I didn't God. get that and stop pushing those parts of me away until I got quiet and in a fast yep. and began to listen to him. And he began to reveal to me, mm-hmm. this is who I made you to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. So that's so good. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Like, just, wow. Yeah. Yeah. And I think at the top of the year, we always... Um, we, there's always this self reflection, right? Mm-hmm. Or maybe yeah. maybe it happens towards the end of the year, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We look at the end of the year and say, Oh, I did this, I didn't do this, mm-hmm. I could have accomplished, I did it. But I think this is the perfect way to start the year. So you're saying, Hey, it's not about what I want. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not about what I think. Mm-hmm. But it's it's seeking God. And I know a lot of people, you know, when we start talking about purpose mm-hmm. or wanting to know what we're supposed to be doing, how we're supposed to be doing it, this is the perfect atmosphere to sit and say hey god i'm starting this 21 day fast whatever it is that you want me to see whatever it is you want me to expose whatever it is that you want to teach me god here Mm -hmm. i am Mm -hmm. and and this is a sacrifice but it's a sacrifice that we're willingly doing yeah it's not where you know because i fasted you know in my earlier time it was like okay we're lent you give up meat okay Mm -hmm. i just gave up meat but there was no there was nothing practical for me to do in that time it wasn't connected to relationship it wasn't wasn't connected at all and so now i'm saying okay god yes this is what i am i am i'm sacrificing yeah this is what i'm taking out of my diet this is what i'm being more intentional about not doing so i can spend time with you but as i'm spending time with you you're then going to pour back into me show me Show me everything I need to see. Yeah. Yeah. Show me all the things that you want me to do in this year. Mm-hmm. Show me what, how I want to see me the way that you see yes. me. That's, yes. it. That's it. our prayer for this day. Yes. 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 It is a beautiful thing. Yes. It is a beautiful thing for sure. Yes. For sure. And, and I was going to say too, like the world tells you at the beginning of the, of the year, like, okay, do your vision board, do this, do that. But <laughs> As kingdom women, we're sitting down and we're saying, hey, God, what, what do you want this to look like? Yes. Not what I want to do. Mm-hmm. I know I have desires. And I know if my desires don't reach, you know, don't, they don't meet what your desires are, yeah. then it's not really, you know, like it's mm-hmm. not really practical. Yeah. He wants us to have all of the things, mm-hmm. but they have to be in his alignment, you yeah. know, in Absolutely. his will. Yes. Not what the world tells us mm-hmm. we should do. Yeah. Oh, you got to be this by 25 or, yeah. you know. Come this on, way. come on now. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, Jesus. so you mean some of us need to fast our timelines? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably burn them, burn them, and sacrifice them. If you didn't pray and ask God what to put on your vision board, just go and throw it away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll try to do it, do this again. We're gonna do this again. We're gonna start it on. Run it back in February. Literally, it really dropped in my spirit when Ty said purpose because I feel like. So often in life, myself included, we get caught up on what is my purpose? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what ha- what literally God just said to me is, I am your purpose. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You find your purpose when you find me. Yes. Come on. When you stop Come seeking on. for purpose, 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 mm-hmm. and you begin to seek God, 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 yeah. that is when it's revealed. Yeah. He literally just said to me, I'm your purpose. Mm-hmm. Literally. Wow. Worshiping me is your purpose. Come on. Serving me is your purpose. Come on. So if you're looking for your purpose, he find it is your purpose. He is your purpose. That's it. Drop that in the chat. He is your purpose. He is my purpose. Thank you. My spirit got to get that that way. He is my purpose. Yes. I'm in him. Thank you, God. And it's 
it's um, okay to ask God questions. Yes. yes. I remember, you know, in my early days of being saved, I you thought I God. couldn't question mm-hmm. God. Mm-hmm. God. Mm-hmm. I just had to Ooh, just Jesus. deal with whatever. Mm-hmm. But it is okay to ask God questions. Mm-hmm. And especially being that it's the beginning of the year. Yeah. So ask those questions. God, yes. what is your vision for my yes. life for yes. 2024? Yes. God, what is it you want me to be doing? God, what do yes. you want to do through me? Yes. God, what do you want to do for me? Yes. What do you want from me, God, yes. in this year? And it's okay to ask those yes. questions because he's going to answer them. Yes. Yes. As, as you're answering the questions just real quick and mm-hmm. I want to go to you. It's, in, it's important that we listen as women. Mm-hmm. We mm-hmm. have to become better <laughs> listeners. Mm-hmm. I had two ears. I, you, baby, I just like, okay, I ask, and then by the end of the day, well, you ain't listen yet, so all right, I'm going to do this over here. Oh I, I was waiting for them doing lunch. I thought she was going to answer. You know, so I think one of the things that we have to do, ladies, is that you have to practice patience. Yes. Yeah. That P uh, word, you know, that P yeah, word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As we ask those questions, we have to patience. be open to allow the Lord to answer in the way he desires to mm-hmm. and when mm-hmm. he desires yeah. to right That's so as it. you're answer, asking those questions we have to be sure that we're listening and we do also have to be sure we're in our word mm-hmm. because the the he speaks through his word yes. so many times when I've been in my Bible I'm like that ain't got nothing to do with me them donkeys and all that and he like and I'm like wait a minute <laughs> what maybe got you know because you'll think sometimes like is the Bible relevant to right. today right. you know because you're talking you're reading about things that happened so long ago yeah. but the word is active the mm-hmm. Bible says it's alive mm-hmm. it's sharper than any two edged sword mm-hmm. yeah. so the Holy Spirit you can open up your Bible or pull up that devotional on. if you're just now starting mm-hmm. and you can just be meditating and continue to read that one scripture and it's something to just drop in your spirit. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. the Lord speaking to you because mm-hmm. the enemy will try to tell us that we can't hear from God. Yes. The devil is a liar. You yeah. are a daughter oh, of yes. God. Yes. You're a kingdom woman. He, he says that my sheep you. know mm-hmm. my voice and so mm-hmm. you do hear God and it often sounds like your voice. Yeah. Yeah. You wake up with that idea. You went to bed trying to answer that question. You wake up with the idea. That was God speaking Absolutely. to you. So put that in the comments. I hear from God. I hear from God. I hear from God and God yes. is going to hire. He's going to speak to me during this fast. I feel that in my spirit. God is going to speak to us, you all, during this fast. We're going to leave this fast with answers. We're going to leave this fast with strategy. We're going to leave this fast with, come on, we're leaving this fast with clarity. Drop what it is that you know that God is going to speak to you concerning during this fast. And we're positioning ourselves Mm -hmm. and posturing ourselves Mm -hmm. to hear from our Father. That is good. Okay, you had something to ship. Just wanted to piggyback off of what Adelia said. It's one of those things where we, a lot of us were told not to question God. Mm-hmm. But it was when I realized and I read that I was a friend of God. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How can I have a friend and I can't talk can't to him? Come on. Come on. Right? Mm-hmm. So I, when, we, when we accept him as being, yes, he is our father. Mm-hmm. We have our Heavenly Father, but we have a friend in yeah. Jesus. We have, God left us the Holy Spirit. We have the comforter with us. Yes. Like we have someone that we can talk to mm-hmm. and, and, and let it be during this fast that we're not so easily to pick up the phone or call people yeah. about what it is, that, things that we want to talk about. No, but let's spend that intimate time yes. with God. Yes. Let's be intentional in our time with him to to understand his voice, yeah. to understand his purpose, to understand his will for our life, and even when even when we're we're being intentional in this time about um, spending time in our word. If you don't have a word, this is something that is absolutely important. We want you to get a Bible, mm-hmm. and maybe it's that you can't necessarily. Uh, you know, decipher what the King James version mm-hmm. is. Maybe it is you spending time at a bookstore mm-hmm. going through the different versions to say, hey, maybe it is New Living Translation. Mm-hmm. Maybe it is New King James mm-hmm. Version. Maybe it is even yeah. the, the Passion or the mm-hmm. Message Version. Mm-hmm. Find a Bible during this time that we're going through this time. Find a Bible that resonates with you. Absolutely. That you can understand so that it's more, it's clear to you what it is that God wants to say to you. And pair it with I a journal. That. Absolutely. Get yes. a journal. Yes. Get a fasting journal. Yes. Mm-hmm. Write down your questions. Questions. Write down your prayers to God mm-hmm. yes. and write down what he's giving you. Your desires. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love it. Let's talk about, because we've been getting some questions. Like Some of the sisters have signed up for the fast and they're like, so what I fast from? You know, mm-hmm. like they they waiting for us to send them the instructions mm-hmm. of like, okay, so what we fasting from? Right. Yeah. So yeah. how do I get to the place? Because we, we do a type of fast where we don't say everybody, hey, fast from mm-hmm. this, 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 mm-hmm. because we have sisters who join us 
from, you know, somebody been walking with the Lord 50 years mm -hmm. to a new believer to someone who's like, I don't even know yet, mm -hmm. but I'm going to, yeah. you know, figure this out. Yeah. And so we try to keep it open because we want it to be spirit led, but we also want it to be personal for each and every sister mm -hmm. that's walking through it right mm -hmm. and so my question is if i don't know what to fast from mm -hmm. how what are some tips of how do i determine what i'm I fasting from during mm -hmm. this fast mm -hmm. i think it's uh i think there should be before we start a moment of reflection mm -hmm. and a moment of prayer asking god or even just looking at what our daily lives look like yeah you know at one point i would get up every morning and before i did anything i'm like Mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely mm -hmm. same here yeah mm -hmm. so i'm mm -hmm. not okay so i didn't lay in the bed two hours and i just been I'm scrolling mm -hmm. scrolling mm -hmm. all right so that's a problem yeah. like whether we yeah. acknowledge that yeah. or not that's a problem if i'm getting up before i when i before i even say thank you god for waking me up this yeah. morning yeah. that that mm -hmm. that you can see mm -hmm. if i have to i'm just telling all my business if yeah. i have to stop at starbucks every morning before Ooh. i get my day started work and I'm binging TV yeah. for yeah. hours. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what I do know is that we make time for what we want to make time yeah. for. Yeah. So yeah. maybe it is how I I am I I eat all the time. Maybe mm -hmm. maybe it is a complete fast where I'm taking away food, or maybe it's something that you love. If you love sweets, if you love, if you feel like you can't have a, a meal without meat. Like mm -hmm. those are the things. Or I gotta have bread at every single meal. Mm -hmm. We if we sit down and just look at our lives, we yeah. can see what I'm overindulging That's good. in, That's good. what I can eliminate, That's good. what takes up too much of my time. Mm -hmm. yes. If we sit down. And just if, if just sit down yeah. and think about your day. How am I starting my day? Mm -hmm. What am I doing throughout mm -hmm. the day? I think when we look at our day, yeah. God will easily reflect and yeah. tell us, yeah. Yeah. this is what you're doing he too does. much of. Yes. This is what yes. you can eliminate, and this is where you can find time to spend with me. Because basically you're pinpointing what you're putting before God. Absolutely. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Yes. So if we're going to put God first, those things mm. that we put before God, <laughs> we got to sacrifice. Yeah. That's what we give up. Ooh, those yeah. things that we're putting before God because yeah. we're we're focusing <laughs> on putting God first. Mm -hmm. That's why fasting be, is so important. And he yeah. should be the first thing on your mind yes. in the morning. Yeah. So whatever is stopping you from giving him that first morning praise, mm -hmm. yeah. that's something for you to consider. And that's what he had to like reveal to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I was like, oh, okay. I started looking at my phone has this thing where it shows me how much time I spent on mm -hmm. each app. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I said, Lord, that can't be very right. good. Right. <laughs> it's, a, it's a deep phone. What is going on? It's a, it's a deep phone. <laughs> I think you have the wrong. I think right. the timing is off. Yeah. So and so phone. for me, it was like, okay, you know what you need to do. Yeah. You know what you need to yeah. let go of. And I just want to encourage encourage you to say if this is your first time fasting don't jump in and say i'm gonna do water for 40 days no no no, 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 no. use wisdom use wisdom use wisdom like try do something that is definitely meaningful for you mm -hmm. and don't allow fear to tell you girl you know you can't live without that coke mm -hmm. every day yeah, yeah. 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 don't mm -hmm. allow that because that's when your your faith is going to begin to grow and you're going to allow god to sustain you mm -hmm. yeah and when you are fasting and you have found okay this is what i'm going to fast from and this is what i'm going to do it's okay if you mess up. Yes. Absolutely. We're not asking you to be perfect. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's okay if you mess up. Mm -hmm. Just say, okay, I'm about to start again. Yeah. I had a sip. Yeah. Somehow I clicked sip on Instagram. Or dip. Right. Sip or dip. Sip or dip. I'll get it. Flip, dip, flip, sis. All right. We're not doing a lot of flipping during the fast. Praise God. No. No. I just want to. I just want us to be real. Was we was should be getting up during the fast. I was gonna say we got the focus. There, we got the focus. The emotions, like. I done had a long day. These kids done got on my nerves. Listen, like, I just need a release. Yeah, let me do this. Like, what are you saying? No call them. No call them. No call them. No call them. That's part two. Right. That's part two. Because I'm going to sit on the couch for that too. Because I ain't married. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, y'all. We'll keep moving for y'all. We'll talk about that. So, yes. Go back in the spirit. We back in the spirit. Back in the spirit. Start over. Just if you, 
Absolutely. Like, if you deleted Instagram and somehow you found yourself downloading it because you yeah. really need to find something and then you realize you scrolled. That you weren't like, supposed to be looking for. Right. And you realize you scrolled like, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Just... <laughs> Go back, delete the app again. That's right. And start over. It's That's not right. the end of the world. Just God forgive me. That's yeah. it. There's no, mm-hmm. There's no yes. condemnation. Yes. There's no condemnation. There's no condemnation to those who are in Christ that. Jesus. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So we have, uh, when you get the devotional that she so beautifully talked about, you can get the digital version if you haven't already downloaded it. Go to the kingdomwomanfast.com, the kingdomwomanfast.com. You can download the digital version or the physical copy. But we have types of fast mm-hmm. in the devotional there's an absolute fast the one she referred to if you're just starting you know uh that's when you go an extended amount of time without anything you have partial fast uh partial fast can be anything from fasting objects items also a time fast you're saying hey from six to three or six to six you know i'm only drinking water and when i'm hungry it's a replacement ladies so when you usually do that thing when you usually will scroll that's when you're meditating on your scriptures when you get hungry that's when you start to talk to god so you're replacing or picking up that devotion um so there are a lot of different types so check out the devotional so you can see the different types jump into our community we have a community as well so you can connect with other ladies um but i love how practical Ty made it. Look at your schedule. Yes. Look at where you're spending so your time and then okay. let Holy Spirit lead you from there of how to craft your fast. Y'all yes. want to share any other tips of preparing or anything else you all want to share with the ladies? I would say not only just like looking at and seeing, you know, your schedule, but you have to know your triggers too. Mm-hmm. You know, like people think fasting is just from things or, you know, or people or places. Fasting is also from anger, mm-hmm. from frustration, you know, because those were my things. Yeah. Like, as soon as I fast, everything started breaking out. Yeah. I ain't on social media all day, but I done fussed Sally out. <laughs> and her mom was <laughs> like, What's Sally do? So, those things, like just knowing your triggers, knowing, yeah. like, okay, I can't. I know I go off, you know, like I can't afford to do that during this time. So instead of me going off, let me tell the Lord, like, Hey Lord, Mm -hmm. Sally got me messed up. And I I don't know how to not fuss Sally out. Yeah. Yeah. Help me. Yeah. You know, so just knowing that, like your anger, your anxiety, or if you struggle with depression, all of these things are things that we should be continuously giving to God mm, and absolutely. renewing, you know, because mm, it's not as easy. It's not easy. You know, you have to like renew your mind daily mm, yeah. and especially during a fast because the enemy is going to try. He he's he's going to be mad. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. so he know you about to go to the next level. Exactly. Right? You always right. know when you're about to go to the next level because stuff just start popping pop off pop, pop, out of uh-huh. nowhere. I literally. I mean. <laughs> you, that I is mean. your indication. Literally. Next level is here. Yes. Because the, I, like, what? People start acting up like, yeah. like that I is. To you in years. Years. That's how you know that yeah. you're going to the ladies. Yeah. You your next level is already here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All you have to do in this fast is step all the oh. way into mm-hmm. it. So don't be surprised. Mm-hmm. Do not be caught off guard. This is mm-hmm. just your confirmation. You doing exactly what you're supposed to do, yeah. and you are exactly where you are supposed to be. That's yeah. good. That's Absolutely. what I'm gonna do when somebody makes me mad during the fast. Or yeah. I feel like my like, spirit. Exactly. Like I'm gonna be like. I'm doing exactly what I'm yeah, supposed to do. Yeah, thank you for You have a blessed day. Yeah. 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 Thank you for that. Yeah. Yeah. We think that it means that we're on the wrong path. Yeah. yeah. When yeah. stuff starts breaking out and we like, dang, I'm giving God my yes. Yeah. And stuff starts breaking out. We're like, oh, this can't be. Mm-hmm. It can't be. <laughs> yeah. But no, that means you're exactly where you need yep. to be. That you're exactly where God wants you to be. Yes. You know? so, yes. Absolutely. 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 Yeah. Absolutely. And just a few that. more practical things. I remember one year I said, okay, well, I'm going to fast and I'm going to eat fruits and vegetables. Right? So the day of the fast comes up and I go to my refrigerator. Ain't no fruits and vegetables. Ain't no fruits and vegetables. So there is a level of preparation. Preparation. Let's say it together. Preparation. (laughs) So if you're saying, hey, I'm going to give up sweets, I'm going to give up bread, go ahead and get rid of it. Take it out of your house so you're not tempting yourself. If there's something that you're wanting to eat more of, go ahead and go shopping for it. Have that stuff in place so that you're not tempted to go the other way. So that was just a really good thing that I learned. I'm like, how are you going to say you're going to give up 
and, and it's still in your house. No, yeah. I had to be intentional before the fast started. Even if you're waiting to, after, even you know, you may be watching this a few days later. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Go ahead and prepare yourself to be your best self in this phase. Yes, yes. I love and, you said that because even if, like you said, it's some days later and you're catching this, it's not too late to join no, us. No, yes, it may right. be day five, day 15, day 20, whenever you start or even throughout the year. Mm -hmm. You yeah. may say in May, hey, I need to re-up mm -hmm. on it right. that fast. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can do that as well. So mm -hmm. take this as a resource and a guide for you to carry with you yeah. all year long. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And don't limit yourself. Don't cheat yourself. Mm -hmm. If you're not a big sweet eater dessert eater right. don't say i'm fasting from <laughs> sugar right. Yeah. right right that you're not gonna get anything in yourself. return from that yeah. yeah if you're not a big tv watcher like me don't say oh i'm gonna fast from watching mm -hmm. tv yeah it's you're cheating yourself and you're not doing the fast any justice if you do that so Absolutely. don't limit yourself yeah. don't cheat yourself go in full-fledged full force yeah Absolutely. and try to I like to pair my fats with an attitude of gratitude. Mm -hmm. um, it's something that I don't. I feel like we don't do enough. Where mm -hmm. you say, "I'm just gonna. I'm gonna find one thing to be thankful for, no yeah. matter what happens this day. Come I'm gonna be thankful on. for this thing. So yep. mm -hmm. I'm gonna make sure I'm writing down two to three things that I'm thankful. Like That's I'm weird. gonna pair this fast with an attitude of gratitude, so that when I do feel discouraged, when mm -hmm. I do feel like I don't want to do this no more, I'm yeah. like, God, I thank you. Yeah. Because I have lights mm -hmm. and my bills are paid. Like yeah. I'm, I'm gonna find that one thing that today I'm focusing on being grateful for this. And so yes. if you can pair your fast with an attitude of gratitude, it just helps you to keep going and mm -hmm. to stay focused yes. on how good our God is mm -hmm. and why we're doing it. So attitude yes. of gratitude. Another, um, go, ahead. go ahead. Just another thing that helped me, um, and I'm so grateful that we have community at Saved in the City, but one of the things that helped me in my earlier time, it's still now, is accountability. Mm -hmm. yes. Right? So we have, yeah, we have each other. Mm -hmm. When you hop in the chat, you can meet up with someone because that's how I did one year. We mm -hmm. were on Instagram. I found somebody. I was like, hey, I need an accountability partner. She's like, hey, I do too. We exchange numbers. We walk this thing out together. Yeah. That is um, something that it can be very helpful. If you have somebody say, hey, girl, how was your day? Or what did you eat today? Someone mm -hmm. who holds us accountable and say, okay, let me pray with you. Yep. You had a rough day. Let me pray with you. So um, this, we offer a space here. If you're yeah. on Instagram, you're on, um, if you if you sacrificing and not being on social media, maybe not Instagram. We are YouTube. But <laughs> YouTube, for sure. Um, if it's just whenever we come together, there's an opportunity to find someone that you can connect mm -hmm. with to be an accountability partner. For sure. Yes. Or you, your accountability partner may be in the chat right now. Yes. yes. Right? And so go ahead and connect yeah. uh, as you're watching and tuning into this, y'all. We hope you all have enjoyed mm -hmm. this conversation. Yes. Uh, we hope that you feel more equipped. Yes. We hope that you feel more empowered. We hope that you feel inspired. Like, I can do this. Yes. Sis, you are going to do this yes. and you're going to do it well. Yes. So we want you to know we are so proud. Aren't we ladies? Yes. So we are so, so, proud. Proud. so, so proud. proud of you. Yeah. We're praying for you. We're yes. celebrating every yes. win and testimony. Mm -hmm. Send us your testimonies yes. because they are coming. Some yes. of you may already have them, but we are here. We are a family. We are a community. We are a sisterhood. And we are so thankful that God mm -hmm. sent you our way mm -hmm. to be a part of the 21 day kingdom, kingdom woman, woman fast so we're gonna yes. pray for you and then we're gonna see you starting tomorrow next week or whenever you tune in <laughs> yeah. uh, to our prayer calls father yeah. we just thank yeah. you so much for the sister the daughter the kingdom woman that is watching this has been watching this conversation we speak blessings yes. over yes. her god yes. we pray that this will be a blessed experience yes. for her there will be no fear yes. there will be no discouragement oh god but she will continue to go from faith to faith and from glory to glory in you let her meet new friends yes. Yes, let her see see new dreams God yes. let her just experience the freshness the newness of a friendship and a loving relationship yes. with you and we pray that her life will never be the same that it will grow that she will grow that she will walk in the fullness of who you yes. called yes. and purpose for her to be we know your promises for her are yes and amen yes. and so we celebrate her we celebrate what you're doing in her life and we thank you for it thank it's in Lord. Jesus name we pray Jesus name. Amen. amen we love you kingdom woman